Meetings, 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 meetings. My brain is fried. I just got out of a meeting for set design. I know I keep talking about this over and over again, but set design is one of those things that I've realized I'm not able to completely conceptualize what it looks like without like seeing an actual set. You know, unlike a video where I can see a script and be like, okay, I know what this would look like and what that time will be like and I can see the scene. Same with dance, like in my mind I can see a dance and I can kind of know what it looks like. With set design, every time we're talking about an idea, they're like talking about a trans light and like this cardboard kind of, and I'm just like, I don't know what that would look like. And so it's been frying my brain, but hopefully I can show y'all a set soon. Otherwise, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I have a day full of meetings and all that jazz. I'm going through my inbox right now through segment producer submissions. Now I'm also like, part of this is learning what all these people do. So segment producers are the people from my show that will basically be like, oh hey, talent X is coming on your show. Oh, what are some stories we can talk about? What are some of the games we can play that are relevant to them? It's basically researching the talent and promising me with conversation starters and and topics that like kind of lend to what those people are about and doing so every day we're learning y'all every day I feel like my brain is expanding and it's amazing and also look at this you ready to see my lunch check this out who is she y'all I'm telling you I'm telling you can I tell you something amazing so I've been doing intermittent fasting which means I eat from 12 to 8 and it's been great it's not that hard last night I did cheat and I ate a few chips but whatever whatever we're, we're, it was a Sunday but I've been doing pretty well you know what the best part of this is I poop at the same time every day I just I just need to share that with you I need to share that with you because it's so lovely because I can literally schedule my poop I know at a specific time I'm gonna have to poop and that is what I do at that time and is this not the quality content you signed up for? I think it is. Also, by the way, did I tell you? NBA champs? NBA champs. Champs. Okay, I just had a very important two hour work call with a very important person. What's up? What, what did we discuss? Up? Booties, bananas, carnival. You know what we discussed? We discussed that Lily's new nickname. Is You're very just frozen cheese. right now and it's thoroughly enjoyable. Oh, did it freeze? Oh, there you are, there you are. Did it freeze? Oh, freeze. Oh, Lily's new nickname is cheese. Please tweet Lily the cheese emoji. <laughs> Cheese. cheese. And you'll never cheese know the why. <laughs> they know why. They know Lily. They know you. And they know you are cheese. You, you've been cheese. I was just telling him how, like, I was just telling him this thing I did for a meeting and how I go so above and beyond always to, like, an extent that's so cheesy. That's what I am. I'm 190% and I can't be anything else. That's just what's up. That's just what's up. So when I was at Unicorn Island in Sedona with Ole, it came to my attention when I was speaking to Team Super. They were asking me how I make mac and cheese, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Well, y'all know, I've said it many times in interviews, that macaroni and cheese KD Kraft dinner, specifically this one, hashtag not an ad. Okay, this is like 149 at expensive places, 99 cents at other places. Would be my last meal because I love this so much. And they were like, wait, but how do you make it like properly? And I was like, I'm sorry, what? Are people not just born with this nod? So I've decided today, I'm gonna do a service to the world. The world, you're welcome. I'm gonna teach you how I make KD, okay? A step-by-step -step guide. Perhaps you bring back cooking with Lily. Step one, get some pot. No, Wiz, Wiz Khalifa, no, this, this. Yeah. Fill it with some agua. I'll never forget the day I told Humble to boil some pasta for me because I was on my way home and I was like, dude, I'm really hungry, can you boil some pasta? And he was like, how many cups of water? And I'm like, what the F do you mean? Who do, just put some water in a pot. This is how much. That's that's how much, okay, that, that right there. That, that's how much. Let that get to a boil. Or not, I mean, honestly, sometimes I'm lazy and I just throw in the pasta right then and there. I mean, it's gonna boil eventually. Listen. The standards are loose. Besides the actual box of Katie, what you will need is butter or margarine and milk. Milk! Okay, because some people are like, oh, don't you make it with water? You know what I say? Don't be disrespectful. Step one. I mean, what step are we on? Step, what? Three? Open the box. Once you open the box, you will find the macaronis. Eh? And you'll find this packet full of what they say is real cheese, but I mean... Powdered cheese. These are the two things you need. Alright, so is our water boiling? You know what? Close enough. Pour all the pasta into the pot. Bam, bam, bam! Take it up a notch! What do you do with the box? We recycle. Why? Because we love the environment. Now, I usually let this boil for like 10 to 15 minutes. I'll let you know when it's ready because it's a very scientific method. But in the meantime, what can you do while this is... What, what do you mean, what can you do? There's so much you can do. Secure the bag. Chink! Shuck, shuck. Yeah, hello, Habib. I don't know if those are the words.
words, but I you know I really like Arabic music, but I feel like I don't know enough. Send me Arabic music. Can you tweet me Arabic music? I love Arabic music, but I only know shik shak shok and nari nari. I don't feel like I know enough. You know what? Send me send me some send me some. Send me some music. Back to this. Yo, did you guys hear about the tornado that destroyed the French cheese factory? Yeah, all that was left was debris. Oh frick, I forgot oil and salt. God damn it. Okay, so rewind. Okay, so something you also have to do is in the boiling water, <laughs> you wanna put some salt, all right? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And a little bit of oil. You definitely wanna do that before it starts boiling. That's so the, the macaroni doesn't stick to the pot. Hello, common sense oil. That's what's up. It's, it's sticking to the pot right now. God damn it, I should have added oil. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. What do you call cheese with curly hair? Parmesan. How do you know when the pasta is done? You see how this boil has kind of changed? It's like a steady, even sounds a little bit different. That's the science. How do you really know? You goddamn taste it. That's how you know. What do you mean? What kind of question is that? Okay, hold up. So you take a little piece. It looks cooked. That's a good sign. You take a little piece. Yep, it's soft. It's not too mushy. You don't want it to have like tact either. If it starts sticking to your teeth, not cooked. This is done. And real talk, the boil actually does change. The way it sounds, the way it looks. Just like you know, you'll, you'll learn. You'll learn when you become a professional like me, you'll learn. After this, we drain the pasta. You don't want to use a strainer that has huge holes because the pasta will go through it. Were you feeding the sink or are you feeding you? Don't be dumb. So you use something like this bad boy. Get out all the water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it a little wiggle. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a saw, 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 shake it. Or if you're washing your sodium, shake it like a pepper shaker. You know, shake it like whatever you would like to shake it. Just don't shake it like you at Carnival. We ain't trying to get the pasta in the goddamn sink, okay? Keep it under control. Once you do that, what do you do? Back in the pot. Yo, it's a circle of life right now, fam. You got the pasta now. Look at the pasta. No, why they got the pasta? What do you do? What do you do to the pasta? I'm gonna tell you right now. A little bit of butter. How much? Depends how happy you wanna be, to be honest. There's no right or wrong answer. See, okay, this is more like a journey. Let me show you how much I would put. Hold, I don't want you to judge me too hard. Like that much, that's like a good amount. That's like a, I want to be happy, I worked hard today, that's how much butter's going in. After that, this packet of real cheese. Here we go, boom, get it in there, yeah. We add some milk. Now, I generally tend to drink only almond milk, but I do not put almond milk in my macaroni and cheese because I feel like it affects the taste a little bit. I add a splash of milk. You don't wanna add too much because you can always add more. Adding too much makes it too watery. Like I said, if you step to me saying you use water, unsubscribe to me right now. The bam! Then we mix. But before we do that, we turn the stove on again. Super low though. We don't gotta go crazy with it. We ain't gotta go crazy. Just a little, little baby flame. Mix it, mix it, mix it real good. So already we're definitely gonna need more milk, but we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna wait to see how it goes, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Melt the butter, melt the butter. Let's add a little more milk. Oh yeah. Mix it real good. Mix it, mix it real good. You wanna make sure all the powder dissolves and it'll help with the heat and the butter and all that stuff. Mix it until there's no more clumps of powder so it looks a little something like this. And there you have it, the perfect mac and cheese for extra enjoyment, eat directly out of the pot. Also, I forgot to tell you yesterday, this guy threw some cheese at me. How dare he? Oh, hot, the hot. I just did all the work, so I just tweaked some scripts that my writers, my writers are like finally getting into a groove because it takes some time for like people to learn your voice, what kind of humor you like. So I've been trying to train them and, and teach them about my voice and they're like nailing the scripts now and I, it's, it's just so much fun, but because I haven't written scripts in so long, when I tweak the scripts, it takes me way longer. Remember when I made it, used to make two videos a week, I could do like bang out the script, just like. But now it takes me a little longer to think of jokes, like get in the rhythm of stuff. So learning experience for me all over again. It's going great. I'm so, so excited. I'm going to watch a movie now that I have to watch for Unicorn Island Productions because that's also happening. I mean, I feel like my brain is divided in so many things. Girl Love, Unicorn Island Productions, the show. Believe it or not, I am still working on YouTube videos. So much stuff. But it's all great, and I'm really happy, and it's a vibe. Also, can we talk about these sick new shoes that I got? Hashtag not an ad. When my friend opened up an APL store at The Grove, and like, look at all this dope-ish. Well, not only that, hold on, let me, hold on a second, hold on. I mean, come on, come on with your bad self. And then some of these, some of these APLs. I just love it when friends do sick things. Speaking of sick things, I think, oh, it's dark, it's dark. I heard Colleen just moved to New York. 
What the hell is happening with the lighting up in this mother? I heard Colleen moved to New York officially for the waitress. So dope. I'm so proud of her. And I know me and Colleen haven't seen each other in so long. And it's unacceptable that I haven't seen Flynn. But we're always texting and we're always so supportive of each other. So I think it's so, so dope. And people doing some amazing things around me. I'm so grateful to be in this world. I'm so grateful to be alive, living this life. Everything. You know what? I'm grateful for you. I love you.